Do you remember the press cam that I was telling you a while ago? This is the time that we're gonna be doing it. So, put your pieces together, fold your fabric, wrong sides together, make sure they're together, and the right side or the pretty side of the fabric is facing you. And this is another pretty side of the fabric. Now to do the French seam, or may I explain what French seam is? A French seam is a seam inside a seam. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm probably just gonna show it to you. To do it, the first step is we're gonna be stitching a straight line from here up to the end. Yes, we're putting a stitch on the right side. Trust me on this. So we're gonna see the straight line from here, connecting those two pieces all the way here. About one fourth of an inch seam allowance. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in my sewing machine and do that stitch. And here is how it looks. So we have a straight stitch along the edges, about one fourth of an inch allowance. Let me try to show you, and I hope my phone is focusing it. And then we're gonna trim the excess allowance to as close to the stitches as we can. About one eighth of an inch allowance left is good. Head and turn that one. There you have it. And I want to show you again how close we trimmed it. And now this is the fun part. After we have the stitches, we made the stitches, we're going to turn our fabric. Yep. Let's turn our fabric, exposing, or the wrong side is facing you. And this is our seam. Put it in your iron board and give it a good press. What I want to do is, I want to open the seam first, give it a good press. This is the seam. I'm just gonna run my iron a couple times, make the seam flat. And then fold it. This is still the seam. Fold it where the seam is. Press that flat. Press it real good. And I'm gonna show you. So the row edge will be sandwiched between this your two fabric so that's how it's gonna look this is the seam that was your row edge remember the one that we trimmed the one that was left it's inside or in between the two fabric now 
we're gonna go in our sewing machine run another straight stitch starting from here up to all the way down here with about 3 8 of an inch or half inch seam allowance from the edge of your project I'm gonna go ahead now put a straight stitch along the edge and that stitch will hide the row edges I'm gonna show you mostly sewing machine they have they have a like a stitch guide and now you can use that one as a guide Okay, so I have put my straight stitch along the edge. I put about 3 8 of an inch allowance. So this is how it looks. I'm going to put it a little higher so you can see. Now, the row edge is going to be inside the seam. It's like inside, it's encased. So this is gonna act like a casing and the row edge is hidden in between that. So if you open your fabric or your garment, look at that, it's a clean one and inside your garment it's gonna be a clean finish using a French seam. Isn't that so neat? Yep, so that is French seam everyone. It's that easy. I know you can do that.